Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new video. My name is Arfad. Today I have the alleged letter of Jesus um, and King Abga of Edessa. Okay. Um, apparently King Abga wrote to Jesus asking Jesus to come to Edessa somewhere in the east. Uh, I don't know where Edessa is. And Jesus responded by saying that um, I have things to do in Jerusalem, but I will send somebody to heal you. Okay, And I'm reading here from After the New Testament, a reader in early Christianity, um, published by Oxford University Press, compiled by Professor Bart Ehrman. Copy of the letter written by ruler Abga to Jesus and sent by him to Jerusalem through his courier, Ananias. Ananias, sorry. The ruler of Gauchama to Jesus, the good Savior, who has appeared in the region of Jerusalem, greetings. I have heard about you and your healings, which you perform without medications or herbs. As the report indicates, you make the blind see again and the lame walk. You cleanse lepers, you cast out unclean spirits and demons. You heal the chronically sick and you raise the dead. Having heard all these things about you, I have concluded one of two things. Either you are God and do these things having descended from heaven, or you do them as the Son of God. For this reason now I am writing you, asking that you take the trouble to come to me and heal my illness. For I have also heard that the Jews... Okay, very important here, the Jews are murmuring against you and wish to harm you. My city is very small and esteemed, and it can accommodate us both. Now, apparently Jesus replied. Okay, the reply sent by Jesus to the ruler Abga through the courier Ananias. Blessed are you who have believed in me without seeing me. He quoted John there. Yeah. For it is written about me that those who see me will not believe in me, and that those who do not see me will believe and live. Also, he quotes John. Okay. But concerning your request for me to come to you, I must accomplish everything that I was sent here to do, okay. meaning in Jerusalem. And after accomplishing them, ascend to the one who sent me. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, this is a very theological point. After I have ascended, I will send you one of my disciples to heal your illness and to provide life both to you and to those who are with you. Okay. Now, very, very interesting passages here. A lot of scholars and historians deem this letter to be not authentic okay it is inauthentic meaning jesus never wrote to abga nor do abga ever wrote to jesus the reason is very simple okay jesus according to historians was crucified and he you know he was gone um, he parted away from this earth around the year 30 ce the correspondence between Jesus and Abga contains many quotations from the New Testament, which only came later on. The New Testament Gospels came later on. Okay, uh, Matthew and John, which was quoted quite uh, a lot in in the correspondence. Okay, John presumably Matthew just just um, once. Um, came later on after the time of Jesus. And in the Gospels, we have the stories about Jews, especially Matthew, rejecting Jesus. Okay. And so the latter could not have come from the time of Jesus because you know the latter quotes the New Testament Gospel. And the New Testament Gospel came later on, much, much later on, four centuries 
after the time of Jesus. And so if the latter quotes the New Testament Gospels and the New Testament Gospels came four centuries after Jesus, meaning that Jesus could not have written the correspondence, nor would Abga wrote about wrote to Jesus. Okay, because who would know Jesus? Jesus wasn't famous. Okay, according to most historians, he wasn't famous. He was just a miracle worker. Okay. In Jerusalem, um, why would anyone from outside um, Jerusalem, presumably not Jews, care about Jesus? Abga, uh, probably he was a, a Gentile. I mean, he could be a pagan, we do not know. But he's certainly not Jews. Okay, not Jew. Because um, that is what um, most historians are of the opinion. Okay, um, because he mentioned the Jews, okay, are murmuring about you, okay, and this is a re really straight giveaway. Okay, if Abga himself was a Jew, he would have said, uh, "My people or our people are murmuring about you." He would not say the Jews, okay, are murmuring about you. Okay, that's not something nice to say. Okay. Um, and so, this correspondence, uh, just on the evidence itself, that the letter quotes the gospel, um, is not uh, a strong case to say that this letter is authentic. And yeah, so Jesus never wrote any works that have survived. If he, in fact, did write something, it has not survived. Um, and a lot of historians deem this correspondence between Abga and Jesus to be inauthentic. You know? But what was the reason or the motive behind later um, communities who actually fabricate this letter? What was their um, intention behind? Well, obviously we do not know, but we can only speculate. And my speculation, um, because it contains uh, the word the Jews, okay, um, it is used um, probably this, the people who came out with, with this uh, letter um, themselves do not like the Jews. Okay, um, He's probably a Christian, he or she, whoever wrote this letter, they're probably a Christian um, because we do know from the um, second century, the third century onwards, um, Christians um, and Jews do not get along um, because Christians accuse Jews as Christ killers, uh, so on and so forth. And we have a huge history between the um, Jews and Christians and how Jews were treated under the, the Catholic uh, monarch, so on and so forth. But those are later on. Um, but, yeah. So anyway, a lot of historians deem this letter inauthentic, but I just thought I'd uh, make this video because it is interesting to read the letter. I wish it was longer though. Maybe the manuscripts have not survived, but I wish it was longer. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video.